There are a lot of concern about how to monitor a pressure relief device to avoid polluting emissions to the atmosphere. There is a misconception that using process information can identify a release. This is a very complex and time consuming and it's not effective. The better way to monitor a relief valve, it's monitoring the outlet or the, the downstream of the valve. Okay? You have few options to do that. You can monitor the mechanical lift or the flow on a vent pipe, or you can use acoustic monitor. Hi, I'm Marcio D'Angelo with Emerson, and I want to show you how you can monitor a pressure relief device in a non-intrusive way without disrupting your process. The Rosemount 708 wireless acoustic transmitter can identify when the release is started, when it stopped, and also can identify if the relief valve is leaking or simmering. Let me show how it works. This is a typical 30 PSI spring-loaded pressure relief valve, but you can use any one that uh, you want. On the downstream of the valve, we have the 708 clamped to the vent pipe. And all that you need to install is two clamps. That's it. It can be simple than that. The 708 is sending information via wireless heart protocol to a gateway, which is connected to the control system. Let's simulate a release uh, by lifting this lever. The red graph indicates that the 708 wireless acoustic transmitter is detecting and sending information about the release. We know exactly when the release started, its duration, fast and easy, and a no data interpretation. Now, after a release occurs, the chance is very high that the valve will miss it, causing leakage. So let's simulate a leakage. And for that, I'm going to block this valve using a thickness of a $100 bill, which is 0.1 millimeter or 0.004 of an inch. See how the red graph is showing the 708 output detecting a constant leakage, indicating the valve has misseated. Now, if you were using process information, you wouldn't have been able to detect this leakage because the process would compensate for that leakage. That's the advantage to use acoustic monitoring on the downstream of the relief valve. So in this video, we discussed why downstream monitoring is the right method to monitor a pressure relief valve. How to monitor a relief valve using a non-intrusive 708 wireless acoustic transmitter and a demonstration of the 708 detecting releases and leakages. For more information, we have in-depth material including a white paper and presentations that you can download at Emerson Process dot com slash PRD wireless monitoring. Thank you for your time and thank you for your interest in Emerson wireless acoustic monitoring solution. If you want to discuss further, please contact your local Emerson representative.